and uh, we're going to tell the tale of how uh, Big Daddy stopped doing backline. <laughs> First off, does this thing make me look fat? Because I think the Reverend Bill's got <laughs> cocked down, so it makes me look fat. I've told him a hundred times, if he does it from this way, that I look strong and masculine. But now he's got it shooting down, so y'all, y'all, y'all tell him how fat it makes me look. Because I, I can tell I already look fat in this video, and I haven't even seen it yet. So yeah, so we decided a few years, about eight or nine years ago, to start doing backline. Take take all other vendors out of the equation. So we started doing lighting, audio, backline, staging, the whole nine, nine yards. And uh, about 24 months or so ago, we're doing a job down on Fremont Street with a relatively famous country act who under normal circumstances would be on tour with a full rig, carrying all their own gear in and decided at the last minute that they needed to do a fly date on this particular one. So they needed back, back line. So the backpack requirements were pretty easy. Uh, you know, a DW drum set, uh, SVT bass rig, a couple of Fender Twins, whatever. Really easy, cheesy backline. So we've got two stages going down there. I'm on one of the stages, and I get a call from the second stage from my, my TD down there. And he says, yeah, we've got a backline problem. Um, can you come down here and take a look at it? So I walk my fat ass all the way down there. And it was like three whole blocks. So, I mean, you know, it was a long way. Walk my fat ass all the way down there. Uh, walk up on the stage and the musicians are all kind of noodling around and I said okay who's got a problem with the back line and the bass player says well me first so I'm thinking great there's multiple problems so I said what's the problem he says well this SVT bass rig that you have here doesn't sound like the SVT bass rig that I have at my house <laughs> I said is it the same make and model yes it is is it functioning mechanically sound and, and appropriately? Well, it seems to be. It just doesn't sound right. So I said, does it sound like something's distorting or blown up or, you know? I, no, it just doesn't sound like the one I have in my bedroom. That's what he said. <laughs> doesn't sound like the one I have in my bedroom. So I said, well, I mean, if the one you have in your bedroom is so goddamn important, maybe you should bring it with you. So he says, well, can you get me something else? I said, if there's nothing mechanically wrong with this, I can't bring you something else. It's just not going to, no, no, it's not going to happen. So then the guitar player chimes in. I've got a problem. So I walk over to him, and he's playing his Fender Telecaster through a Fender Twin, very stereotypical, normal country rig, right? And he says, are you all sitting down? <laughs> this Fender Twin sounds too twinny. What does that mean? It sounds too much like a Fender Twin. Well, thank you. No, 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 that's not what I want. I need a little bit more drive. Wait a minute. Your writer says you want a black face Fender Twin, right? Yep. That's a black face Fender Twin, right? Yep. And you're telling me it sounds too much like a Twin? Well, yeah. You kissed my ass, dude. <laughs> and I left. So that, that was that. The moral of the story is we don't do backline anymore. We we hire other backline companies because I'm afraid that I'll stab somebody famous in the chest 50 to 75 times with a pickaxe if I continue to do backline. So there you have it, folks. No backline for Larry. Have a nice day. <laughs>